Hey future doctors, this is Dr. Sharon and welcome to Need Buddy. Today in this video, I am going to give you details about the AFMC medical examination for year 2025. These details have been taken from the prospectus that has been released by AFMC recently. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Medical examination by AFMC includes every aspect of your body. It includes an ENT specialist review, it includes an ophthalmologist, a medical specialist, a surgical specialist and a battery of tests including your chest x-ray, ultrasound abdomen and blood and urine investigations. Let's start with the details. First, your blood and urine tests and reports and what is the aim that they are trying to find. Firstly, there should be no diseases of kidney including glycosuria, albuminuria. This will be found in your urine test. There should be no active latent congenital STD or HIV infection which will be examined in your blood. Second is examination by a dentist. There are minimum of 14 dental points which are essential and candidate should be free from any severe pyoria or advanced caries. Next is a criteria which every aspirant has some doubt about, the height weight criteria. There is a minimum height criteria and height weight chart as per which your weight should be. There is a minimum weight given for a particular height. There is a maximum weight given for your height and particular age. So you have to fit within that range. As per the minimum height criteria for boys, minimum height should be at least 157 centimeters. If the boy candidate belongs to hills or northeastern state, accepted minimum height is 152 cm, so concession of 5 cm is given. Also, if the age is less than 18 years, another concession of 2 cm is given. So if your age is less than 18 years, then your minimum height should be 155 cm and if you belong to hills, then your minimum height should be at least 150 cm. For girls, the minimum acceptable height is 152 centimeters. For candidates belonging to hills and northeastern state, minimum accepted height is 147 centimeters. An allowance of 2 centimeters is made for candidates below age of 18 years. Overweight and obese candidates are decided as per the height, age, weight standards for the armed forces. And if you are not fitting within this criteria, then you will be made unfit. So now I'll show you the charts of height weight standards and explain you with an example following which I'll just fast forward through the charts. You can pause the video and see your respective age, respective height and see what your minimum weight should be and maximum weight should be. I'll also upload a PDF link down in the description of this video. You can access the entire chart from that PDF link. So just for an example, this is a chart for males. Let's take a height of 169 centimeter. So a candidate who has a height of 169 centimeters, minimum weight he should have is 49 kgs. If he's, his weight is under 49 kgs, then he'll be made unfit. Maximum weight for age below 20 years, it is 66 kg. So if his age is below 20 years, weight should not be more than 66 kgs. Also, if his age is between 20 years to 25 years, his maximum weight is 69 kgs. It should not be over 69 kgs. So like that, you can see the weight of your respective weights and the given height for that weight. Similarly, for girls, there are separate charts. For girl, a height of 159 centimeter, minimum weight has to be 40 kgs. Maximum weight, again, for age less than 20 years is 56 kgs for age 20 to 25 years is 58 kgs. You can see your respective height and weight in these charts. Next is examination by radiologist. So you will be made to undergo x-ray and ultrasound. In x-ray, there should be no evidence of active pulmonary TV or any sequelae due to pulmonary TV or any other chronic disease of the lung. In ultrasound, there should be no evidence of any digestive system disease. There should be no abnormality of liver or spleen. 
Next will be examination by medical specialist. There should be no sign of functional organic diseases of heart or blood vessel. Your heart and blood vessel should be fine. They will take a ECG for this purpose. Next, there should be no disease of skin. There should be no history of epilepsy or any other mental or psychiatric disorder. There should be no active trachoma or its complications. And there should be minimum 5 cm range of chest expansion. Next, surgical specialist will examine you. There should be no inguinal hernia, hydrocele, definitive varicocele or any other disease or defect of genital organs. There should be no fistula or evidence of piles. There should be no enlarged glands or lymph nodes in neck or other part of the body. If some candidate had hernia and has been operated, there are three conditions that must be fulfilled by the candidate to be declared fit after the hernia operation. First, more than one year of time should have been elapsed since operation and this proof that one year has occurred after the operation will be provided by the candidate as a documentary proof. So if you have been operated for hernia, then you have to carry the documents of your operation. Second, general tone of the abdominal muscle should be good. And third, there should be no recurrence of the hernia or any complication concerned with the operation. Examination by ENT specialist. There should be no impediment of speech. There should be no air discharge and perforation of eardrum or nasal septum. There should be no hard wax in the ear canal obstructing view of the eardrum. If there is hard wax, you will be made unfit. AFMC in its browser has also released certain hearing standards just like eye standards. These standards are tested in AFMC itself by speech test and if required, audiometric records are also taken. It has also specified that candidates who are coming for ENT examination should get their wax removed, cleaned prior to your medical examination. How is the speech test carried out? Candidate is supposed to stand at a distance of 20 feet. Examiner will examine both ear singularly, alternately with forced whisper. So candidate should be able to hear forced whisper at least from a distance of 20 feet. Audiometric tests. Candidate should have no loss of hearing in either ear at frequency of 128 Hz to 4.09 cycles per second. Examination by eye specialist. There should be no squint or other morbid conditions of eye and eyelid. Fundus and media should be healthy and within normal limits. No undue degenerative sign of vitreous or chorioretinal atrophy suggestive of progressive myopia should be present. Minimum color vision standard should be CP2. Visual standard set by AFMC. Uncorrected visual acuity should be 6 by 36, 6 by 36, left and right eye. And best corrected visual acuity should be 6 by 6, 6 by 6, both eyes. Myopia, if present, should be less than 3.5 diopter spherical lens. If including with astigmatism, astigmatism allowed is 2 diopters of cylindrical lens. Hypermetropia, less should be less than 3.5 diopter spherical lens. And if astigmatism is present, it should be less than equal to 2 diopter cylindrical lens. If LASIK has been carried out, it is considered unfit unless your age is above 20 years. If your age is above 20 years, then certain criteria are to be fulfilled. If earlier procedures like radial keratomy is carried out, again, it is considered permanently unfit. However, there are certain criteria that are to be fulfilled if you are to be made fit. Once you have gone through all the screening, final decision is made by a medical board whether you are fit or unfit. If every single specialist has made you fit, then you will be made fit. If one of the specialists has made you unfit, then you will be made unfit by the board. However, you have this chance to challenge the decision of the board if you have been made unfit. For this, you have to make a fee payment of rupees 40 and then you have to appeal against the decision of the initial medical board and the final decision will be taken by the board the next day. 
So that is everything you need to know about the medical conditions and criteria set by AFMC for year 2025. All these details are available in the prospectus of AFMC 2025 as well. I will be providing the link down in the description box for both prospectus, the height weight chart as well as toilet test series. So that would be all in this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then all the best and keep working hard. Do like and share this video if you find it helpful. And if you are new out there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.